Hi, I'm Greg, and here are highlights we shared at the Google for Games Developer Summit. I want to take you through how we're making it easier to bring Android games to more screens, develop high-quality Android games, and show you some new tools to grow your game on Google Play. Let's start with multi-screen gaming. For Google Play, we're seeing that Android has continued to grow in popularity rapidly around the world. With over 2.5 billion monthly active users on Google Play, this massive worldwide audience is playing games across more form factors than ever before. From Android phones to foldables, tablets, Chromebooks, and Google TVs, our mission has been to enable games on all these screens so we can meet players where they are and give them the convenience of playing games wherever they are. We've done well on this mission so far, and we're proud to be one of the largest ecosystems to help you find game-making success. So today we're introducing the Google Play Partner Program for Games with additional services and features tailored for our largest developers. Benefits of the program include faster releases with a priority publishing queue, enhanced pre-launch tools like pre-registration testing and store listing experiments for pre-registration, growth and engagement tools post-launch like LiveOps, access to insights to device attributes across Google Play, additional integrity protection tools to fight scaled abuse, and finally, invites to early access programs with more features to come. In January this year, we rolled out Google Play Games for PC. This is a new standalone Windows PC application built by Google that allows you to play a high-quality catalog of Google Play games optimized for a desktop or laptop PC. Since January, we have offered this as a beta in South Korea, Taiwan, and Hong Kong, where players have been experiencing their favorite mobile games seamlessly across their mobile phone, tablet, Chromebook, or now their Windows PC. With Google Play Games for PC, players can easily browse, download, and play their favorite mobile games on their PCs while taking advantage of larger screens with mouse and keyboard inputs and enjoy them using high-performance emulation. Last year, we released the Android Game Development Kit, a set of tools and libraries to help make Android game development more efficient. The kit has three key focuses. First, integrated workflows led by the Android Game Development Extension for Visual Studio. Then there's essential C and C++ game libraries, like the game activity and game input libraries. These help you build more stable native C and C++ games with less Java. And lastly, performance optimization, where tools like the Android GPU Inspector and the Android Performance Tuner can help you track, profile, and optimize game performance before and after a launch. And we're excited to share the work we've done to help debugging, memory management, and graphics profiling. AGDE will now include cross-compatibility between Android Studio and Visual Studio. Now, AGDE projects are supported in Android Studio, and you can open them directly there to edit Java code in Android Studio's debugger. We're introducing a new library into AGDK to help developers understand their memory consumption. With the new Memory Advice API, your game can find out how close you are to an LMK on any device. Originally released as the first platform-wide GPU profiler for Android, it's proven essential to understanding when your game is bottlenecked on the GPU versus CPU and achieving better frame rates and battery life. We're excited to make that frame profiler generally available to all developers today. The Google Play Console is receiving more enhancements as a resource for creating invaluable business insights and driving decision-making as you optimize and grow with Google Play. We are particularly excited to launch strategic guidance for monetization as we strive to help more game developers at scale. We launched Reach and Devices at this very summit last year. It's a decision-making tool in the Play Console that shows you the distribution of users and activity across different device attributes. This can help you with both business and technical decision-making for your game on Play. So we've enhanced this powerful tool with revenue metrics for your game along with peer comparisons. Now, you can easily evaluate revenue and its growth rate when troubleshooting technical issues or making investment decisions on which devices you distribute to. Today, we're delighted to announce that you can now see country breakdowns and vitals for all your metrics. 
You can also filter down to the country level across all metrics in both Android Vitals and Reach In devices, so you can better approach your user experience by country and understand where to focus to resolve crash rates and ANRs across those device specs. We're supporting the broader games community, the incredible community of up and coming developers, as well as established developers. We're excited to announce the Google Play Partner Program. We've invested in products to help your business grow on Android and Google Play by making it easier to bring your Android games to more screens, now including PCs, making game development easier and providing tools to help you develop high quality Android games, and providing you new tools to drive promotions and build strategic insights to grow your game on Google Play. Those were just a few of the announcements from the Dev Summit. Catch the full keynote and deep dive sessions at the link you see here.